world and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. We just made it into the Hamlin Palace and we got chased by a ferocious pig robot. And now we need to go over this way apparently. There's a big fountain thing over here. It's got some little pigs with water coming out of their snouts it's actually really cool inside here i wonder what happens if we try and go this way this was the way that the boss came from it's probably going to stop me from going this way yeah give over man there's flipping stylus of what there's flipping stifles of pig-headed soldiers I can't read it that fast, you know. Out there. Okay, okay. So we won't go that way. We will go the opposite way and see what happens. <laughs> Look, there's even a snout on the floor. I love the way that this place is designed. It's so cool. Okay, so yeah, we've been spotted. So if we've been spotted, why aren't there like more guards here and stuff? I don't know. Why hasn't anyone come for us? I have no idea. Anyway, let's continue through this hallway and see what happens. Let's go. Oh, an animated cutscene. I love these cutscenes so much. They're so pretty full. <laughs> Drippy used his disguise to the maximum. Hey, he's got rid of his helmet. So, so hideous. Why am I so... Ugly! What the hell? Someone's coming. It's not ugly. Must hurry! <gasps> Who are you? But you must be. You're the prince. C correct. I am Prince Marcusan, ruler of Hanlin. And who might you be? Oh, you see, see, um... What do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, God. God. You mustn't! God! No! Oh, get away! Do not look at me! Get out of here, I say! You mustn't look at me! Go! Be gone! He's not ugly, though. He's beautiful. <laughs> he looks like a woman. Wow. <laughs> so the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness. You have nothing to fear. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the Great Sage's help. Huh? Great Sage? You mean me? Yes, of course we do. You were one of the Great Sages who protected this world, weren't you? I am sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the great sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? Oh, is that how it works? Great sage's powers. <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a great sage? Me, of all people. I have no gift for magic. This is sad. This is really depressing. <laughs> huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone. Go! There's something iffy about that lad, I reckon. Broken heart, idiot. He is. No doubt, he's broken hearted. I just but knew it was coming. Which piece of heart is missing? <laughs> what that boy's lost is his belief, like. Sure as eggs Oh, is new eggs. piece. His new belief. piece of emotion. Right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. And he calls himself a prince. <laughs> That's a laugh. He's just a snivelling little wimp. Come on, let's go find that piece of heart. Right. <sighs> There's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. All right then, let's fix the prince. Yay! I wonder why everybody dresses as pigs for. But from where? So Swain knows the prince. The prince doesn't seem to recognise Swain. Maybe Swain knew the prince's dad or something? That was quite interesting. So we found out that the prince of Hamelin is in fact the guy we was looking for. The prince who is also the great sage. Of course, I already knew that because I've already completed this game. But for those of you that didn't, I think that was quite unexpected. I don't think that's 
probably something that new players, new people to the game would have worked out. Yeah, it was quite interesting. It's also quite interesting to know that the sages' powers are passed down to their offsprings, which I guess makes sense as to why Esther is able to tame familiars. Maybe that's some kind of power that she has been granted from her dad, Rashad, and that also explains why Oliver is so good with magic as well, because his mum was also a great sage. So that makes a lot of sense. All right, so we're gonna go this way, apparently. We've got another cutscene. So the great sage is the prince himself, is it? And he's broken hearted. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see what this new piece of heart looks like because I can't remember what all the colours and the symbols were for each one, like when you put it in your bag because I kind of like it when they're all like lit up and I don't know, maybe it's like the completionist in me that it just makes me happy. <laughs> we have to do something and fast. We need to find him some belief. Uh, is it just me, or is it getting misty in here? Oh god, what does that mean? Oh no, what's happening? Whoa, this is really something. And indoors too, that's really weird. What's going on now all of a sudden? I can't see a thing. Huh? Wait a second. Hmm? There's somebody there. Put... Who? I can't see anything. Oh no, is it an enemy creating the mist? Oh, it's just pig soldiers. Where did they come from? They're still after us. Run for it. You're huh? right. Look. There's more behind us. Oh no, we're going to get it. captured. We're surrounded. Huh? Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? Is that the king? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, girl. You stand before an emperor. Yeah, we'll I thought that would be them, the king. Emperor? <laughs> He's got a cape and everything. Stand Come down. Should have known I that. I must <laughs> discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Oh, God. Come. Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Sir. We're in trouble! <laughs> what did we do? That's what we get for sneaking into a palace. <laughs> the more I listen to your lies, the more laughable they become. Are you truly trying to suggest that you are from the future? Is it really true, Swain? I'm not sure I believe it myself. There's no doubt about it. You saw the sorry state of the prince with your own eyes. The man you see before you now, on the other hand, he's the former emperor of Hamlin. Former? So does he lose his emperor status? Interesting. I had forgotten this part, actually. Hmm, you shall tell more of this. Now speak. What becomes of Hamlin in the future, and who is this prince that you encountered? Uh, he had long dark hair and blue eyes. Hmm. <laughs> if you must tell lies, you might at least make them credible, boy. Huh? We're not lying. He... Do you mean to tell me that my younger son will one day become emperor? Y younger So that Mardi prince has got an older brother, has he? Look at this. This is your darling son, Marcuson, all grown up. This is the future Emperor of Hamlin. Hmm, it does indeed look somewhat similar to my son. Should you really be showing him that, Swain? Wait, maybe that's why Swain is so old in comparison to the other characters, because he's been to the future and maybe he aged and then came back and then he kept his age or something? Maybe? I wonder. I had to do something. He never would have believed us otherwise. Why did Swain go into the future though, I wonder? what For what purpose? You don't just normally go to the future out of hobby, right? <laughs> Marcuson becomes emperor, but what of Gascon? What will become of him? Well, you never really liked him much anyway, did you? He wasn't really emperor material. Are you claiming that I do not care for my own son? I have had men imprisoned for less. Are you denying it? Surely not. Marcuson was the only son you ever wanted. Ha! How dare you! How dare you make such a claim? 
Your Majesty, something terrible has occurred. It's Prince Gascon and Prince Marcusin. They went out to practice their magic, but they have ventured beyond the city walls. Leave them be. They shall fend for themselves. But, but Your Majesty, think of the danger, and Prince Marcusin is still so young. We will go and save them, of course. You, you're not going to help them, Your Majesty? Certainly not. They must learn to resolve problems that are of their own making. That is the Hamlin way. Wow, that's harsh. You, you're really just going to abandon your own children. Silence! But they're in danger, Your Majesty. If, if you won't help them, we will. Look, we don't have time for a staring contest. I say we leave this old fool to stew and find those kids. What did you say? We'll continue this later, shall we? <laughs> Swain is like so blunt, isn't he? Okay, let's have a little look around here, see if there's anything to collect or anything. I don't think there is. Nah, normally the chests are like in plain view. Sorry, sorry Drippy, I think I just knocked him over. <laughs> A mechanical town, they call it, and this is the future. <laughs> I'm not sure this science thing will last. Hmm. Whatever challenges face our realm, whether sought or unsought, we must overcome them. That is the way of Hamlin. All right, time to go and rescue the prince and his brother. So let's do this. Hopefully, I, because I still haven't grinded levels yet. I've been meaning to, I just have not had any time to do it to be honest i just have been so busy but i'm sure i will find time soon okay so let's exit here we're not leaving hamlin yet anyway i think we've still got a little bit more of the story to do before we move on to the next area so i think we've still got a few episodes here so that's cool hopefully we'll get some side quests and that will boost our xp up a little bit that would be that would be great okay it's nice that we can actually walk through this little area now without being you know, stopped by these guards. I wonder what happens if we speak to them. The Emperor ordered us not to do anything to assist the princes. I must obey, though it pains me. Yeah, <laughs> that really sucks, man. What's in this door? Gates are firmly shut. I really want to know what's behind that door. <laughs> I can't remember what's behind there. Maybe it's like the prince's room or something. I don't actually know. I can't remember. Okay, so let's leave then. I'm going to leave town now. Okay, I'm ready. I just was fiddling around a little bit with my familiars because I was seeing a lot of familiars here that I don't use. Like this guy, I don't really use him and I want to change them up a bit. So I've, you know, um, changed my familiars according to which Genesis is like favourable for each person. As somebody stated, it increases their stats slightly. I never really bothered with it on my first playthrough but since we're kind of struggling right now, I thought it'd be cool and and I've kind of put like a warrior type familiar on each person because I think that would be really helpful. Also got a magic one on most of them as well and I thought I'd go with like this dark one because he's got dark moves and he is wind. We got a fire one and I just tried to put like a like a range of different elements kind of thing. I also think we should metamorphose this guy so if we give him a jumbo star drop. No, star drop. Here we go. We'll give him one of these and we will transform him as well because why not we might as well let's do it i think this also unlocks like a new um skill slot so you can actually put more moves on your familiars which is really helpful so yep that's awesome so what i will do now is equip a new skill on him see the thing is is that i don't have any equipment on some of my characters and that's something that i really need to buy as well so now we have room for a second skill but he actually hasn't got any unlocked right now <laughs> i need to level him more okay so we're just going to continue now and see if we can find this prince guy i'm going to do some battles on the way as well because we desperately need to i'm also like completely out of money as well because i restocked a little bit so hopefully we're going to at least live through this battle let's see how this goes i think we should take out this trapper snapper guy first oh yeah i also want to do war cry 
Ah, uh, do war cry because this increases attack. I think it does it for all party members or does it just do it for me? Maybe it just does it for me. I am not entirely sure, but it increases our into attack and I need to be using more, you know, different moves and actually strategizing a bit more than what I am doing because I've just been pressing A, like attack, all the way through. <laughs> That's all I've been really doing. I will be using some more familiars once they level up because at the moment Mighty is the best guy that I have right now, especially since I just swapped them all out. But I didn't really like the other familiars I had because they were more like, they were mostly like nimble ones, like the, um, the meerkat. See a meerkat? The lima? No, I think it was a lima. The lima dude, I think he was like a um, like a quick, nimble familiar. And I didn't really like using him. So, yeah, I thought I would switch him out. Okay, so we're going in this little tunnel place. I guess we're going into a dungeon area now. So that's cool. Well, let's just see how this goes. Look, Maybe this there. area will give us it's some them. good XP. Come on, now! Here goes. Oh. What? They're tiny. I just can't do it. Stop whining! Try again! Uh, huh? Be careful, Gaston! Uh, 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 wow, fail. Uh, Epic fail. That would be what happens to me if I ever got transported into an MMO. We gotta <laughs> help them. Yes! Let's save them! We got this! All right, here we go. Is this a boss fight, I wonder? Or is it just a normal enemy? I have no idea. Here we it's an Earth Ogre. Okay, let's take this out then. So I'm going to start again with Warcry. There we go. Start with that. And we will go for Fling Flame. Let's try that. I wonder if it's fire is effective against him. 26, that was okay. Let's try Smash Hit. 64, Smash Hit was way better than Fling Flame. I don't think this is an actual boss. I think this is just a normal enemy. So... This shouldn't be too difficult. We should be able to take this out easy peasy without too many problems. I did go to the inn and rest there before we left. So we should have had, you know, full mana and everything. So we should be all good. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. Come on, Mighty. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, no. I am out. Okay, I'm nearly dying as well. Okay, let's just use a quick heal spell let's use some magic let's use some magic against this guy how about a fireball let's try a fireball yeah that was quite effective let's try a frostbite how much does that do 39 well it did enough to finish him off so that's good i want to get the glim yeah i got it just at the end <laughs> okay cool i wonder what cave this is like, can we explore this cave or something? I don't really know. Right, we're getting some levels, which is fantastic. There we go. There we go. We need to get stronger. It costs like 140 to stay at the end. It's so expensive just to stay at the end. I had to sell some of my useless ingredients just to stay there, so that was annoying. Phew, crikey. That was a close one. Are you alright? You two are princes, aren't you? Your father is the emperor. Yes, my name is Marcusin. Shut up, you fool. We can't go telling everyone who we are. Oh, so your brother isn't going to tell us his name? Leave me alone. Leave you alone? You do realise that we're the one who came and rescued you after you went off all on your own, don't you? <laughs> no one asked you to. Wow, he's got some personality on him. We were practicing magic until you lot got in the way, that is. Uh, Gascon, I'm h hungry. Isn't that the prince that was in the pig suit? Why is he suddenly, like, really small? Strange. What? Already? Well, I suppose we'd better get you something to eat then. Come on, you lot. Huh? <laughs> You'd never make it back to Hamlin by yourselves. We'd better escort you. Escort us? Yeah, don't worry, you can thank us later. Oh boy. <laughs> the two princes are now travelling with you. Yay! <laughs> Man, that guy had a bad attitude. He had a terrible attitude. Okay, I guess that's it. We just returned to Hamlin now, so that's good. Just a little tiny trek for us to 
deal with before we go back to town so that's cool okay so yeah we didn't exert ourselves too much so i'm happy about that we think we've still got quite a bit of mana let me check the mana situation actually so how much mana have we actually got for you esther esther's full that's very nice okay we will keep going then what's my tactics on by the way i should check that ah okay um give it your roll yes keep us healthy i changed it when we were doing a boss fight before so let's just have it on like that that might be why esther's okay on her mana i believe so yeah we definitely want the others helping us to attack i want to kill this tin man first there we go esther's more than enough to keep us fully healed i believe so if we do a fling flame i've run out of mana on this guy as well that sucks Okay, let's go attack this thing. The robots look so funny. <laughs> they got such funny movements as well. Oi, get off my healer. I see that Swain is using his skeleton, which is quite interesting. I don't think the skeleton's a very high level though, so I'm not sure how that is working out for him. Let me grab this, this green glim. There we go. I'm going to switch out now and to this one. He's low level, I know, but because I just metamorphosed him, so... But we will try. Let's do Psych up and just keep whacking him. Yeah, he's doing hardly any damage because he's such low level, I believe. Okay, so we will just do some heals here and um, just use... Ah, oh, got no mana. Okay, Mighty Might will have to come back out and we'll have to finish it. I've got no mana and I don't want to use any items right now. So if we just do this battle, we'll head straight back to town and I'll rest at the inn or something and we should be all good. I think that will be okay we've done a few battles so that's good get a bit of xp at least all right keep going kill the trapper snapper esther's a bit low on life go 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 get that glim awesome we did it Woohoo! there we go swain leveled got a bit of money as well so we can afford to stay at the inn which is really good yeah, when I went when I went to the inn before, because I stocked up on coffee and stuff, but I hadn't, I didn't have enough money to go in the inn, so I sold some of these spring waters because they're just like ingredients for like crafting and stuff, and you can literally just find them. They're the little glowing things that you find around the world map, like over there. There's one, so I thought I'll just sell that because I think you get, I think spring water is quite common. I think you can find it at any water resource on the map, so I thought that would be a good. A good one to sell okay i just got some shadow glass so now i'm gonna head back into hamlin here we go it's a really weird building isn't it it's really strange all right i'm staying at the inn and i'm going to stop this episode here for now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time Shoot,